Did you hear the newscast tonight? You read your newspapers? The whole world's in a turmoil. On the Suez Canal, there's a third world war coming up, an atomic war. And while she's brewing, what could happen? It lays and who shoots the first atomic bomb? That's right. That's right. Your paper said that this country here was way hotter than it ever been for this time of year. Many places the hottest it ever been in that time. Why? That atomic bomb has already got this world moving from its orbit into the sun, just like God said it would be. The time is at hand. There's no time for waiting. Let's get to Jesus right quick. They say, well, now, Brother Branham, you had an education, know what? I might not have an education, but I know what I'm talking about. I may not know the book too well, but I know the writer, the author, real well. I know the time is at hand. We can't wait any longer. Let them that's filthy be filthy still, and them that's holy be holy still. The hour of your decision is now. Hey, this may be the last night that you'll have the opportunity. We don't know. The only thing that can help you, the only thing that can save you, the only thing that can heal you, the only thing that will ever liberate you from sin, the only thing that will ever take you from heaven is the baptism of the Holy Ghost and your skin of Right. In this perplexed of time, did you ever hear the airplane wreck? The ships running together, perplexed of time, the stress in the nation. Great sights and sea roaring, tidal waves that's never been known of. Here's the end time. Here's the Holy Ghost here spreading forth this light, just like it did back there in the days of the Jews. As it was back there, so is it now. They were the Eastern people. The sun rose on them and showed signs and wonders of the living Lord Jesus. He promised in the last days it would be light in the evening. And here we are in the Western world, the West Coast. It's all over. And the light is shining down in Christ, raised from the dead, proving himself alive among us. Simple, uneducated ministers speaking the truth, God confirming the word. Oh, we got a lot of quacks, I know that. We have to admit that. We got a lot of fanatics, there's nothing to. That's right. But just remember, every time you see a bogus dollar in here, there's a real one it was made off of. It only vindicates the truth. Right. It only shows that there's a real one. Not in this evening time. Peter said, Lord, I'm scared of you. <laughs> I don't know what to think about. But if it be you, let me see it in the Word. <laughs> Bid me come to you on the water. Let me hear your Word. Now if you're scared of this baptism of the Holy Ghost, let me show it to you in the Word. Yes. Amen. See if it's for you. When the Holy Ghost first fell on the day of Pentecost, they begin to scream and act what you call like what you call holy rollers today. They were jumping, dancing, falling. The Bible said they act like they were drunk. Is that right? Well, Peter stood up on a little stump there, a soapbox or whatever he was sitting on, said, You men of Judea, you as well in Jerusalem, let this be known of you and hearken to my word. These are not drunk like you suppose. Seeing it's a third out of day, but this is that, which is spoke of with the prophet Joel. It'll come to pass in the last days. I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. On he went. And they shall prophesy in all the signs, he said. And when they heard this, they were pricked in their hearts. They wasn't scared of the spook anymore. They said, Man, what can we do to be saved? Peter said, Repent, every one of you, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you and to your children. And the dam is far off. Dam is three point loose the end. If you want to say it anyway, or the uttermost parts of the world, wherever the gospel is preached and God is calling people, the Holy Ghost is still the same for you. That's the word. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. That's the word. Then step out of the boat and start walking. <laughs> Amen. Step out of the little old theology you're wrapped around and right and say, God, I want the Holy Ghost. I don't care what anybody says. Amen. Peter said, Lord, if it's you. You say, I'm afraid I'll make a mistake. Well, you sure make a mistake sitting where you are. That's right. You know, I have courage for a man. I have, I have a lot of respect for Peter when he stepped out of that boat and he did make a mistake. 
You start to look around and say, See, I got it, boys. I got it. And you start thinking. It ain't nothing you have to run along bragging about. It's something you want to run along and testify about Amen. and tell the world that Jesus Christ helped yourself. Amen. Amen. Don't brag on yourself. Brag on Him. Amen. What did you do Him? Where it belongs. Put the power and the praise to Him, not on some preacher. Rub on anything else. Don't think that you're something great. It's God's mercy that calls you to it. All right. Here he starts walking up on the waters. Just as soon as he heard the word, faith comes by hearing, hearing of the word. See, Peter heard the word. That's right. Martha heard that Jesus was coming. She went to him and got the resurrection of her brother. See? It's according to your faith. The priest that packed the ark. Faith for them was sticking their foot in the water. As soon as their foot hit the water, the, seat, the jar opened up. Their faith was touched the water. A blind man one time. The word told him to wash in the pool of Siloam with spit over his eyes. Jesus spit in some ground and made a patty cake out of it. From spit. What would the health authorities say about that in Shreveport today? <laughs> Stand there talking to him. Spit on the ground. Kept talking to him. Spit on the ground. Then when he got out, he rubbed it up his hands like that and put plaster over his eyes and said, go wash in the pool of Siloam to come see. Amen. <laughs> Divine the pool of divine sight. Amen. Hallelujah. Divine. 